Greetings from the Montessori de Sagrada Familia and welcome to the pre-elementary department's first quarter report to the community. The month of June was all about preparing and gearing up for a brighter and even better school year 2021-2022. The faculty members, headed by the members of the Academic Council, had devoted a great amount of time and resources in academic planning and making sure that the academic practices of our Fly Sagradan program will truly bring out the best in every Sagradan. During the orientation weeks, these improvements were presented to the Sagradan parents and students. Our parents even expressed their pledge of commitment in participating and supporting the academic affairs of their children. Parent representatives were also elected for each homeroom as the school further strengthens the homeschool partnership between our teachers and parents. As our beloved school, Montessori de Sagrada Familia, continues to adhere to its promise of bringing the best quality of education to every Sagradan family, even in the comfort of their homes, our school never ceases to provide our young learners with a lot of exciting, meaningful, interactive, and fun-filled experiences during their virtual meetings, together with their classmates, teachers, and families. During your child's virtual meeting, a lot of activities and routines are being done both individually and in the group. First is the check-in session. This part is considered as a perfect venue for each child to develop his leadership skills and improve his confidence in taking part in the responsibilities assigned to him. The use of the class's job chart is very effective in making the children aware of their specific jobs for the day and enjoy their tasks as the teacher's little helpers in accomplishing the daily routines such as being the prayer leader, attendance checker, weather forecaster, and song leader. Next are the preliminaries which are composed of the let's sing and dance or the exercise routine where the class is dancing and moving and checking of materials for the day's VM activities. Followed by the large group time which includes story time, video watching of songs and rhymes that are related to the week's concepts or lessons, sharing time about the stories and songs and rhymes that they watch, brief class discussion or lesson presentation, online games, and wrapping up activities. Lastly, are the closing routines or the checkout session, wherein the teacher informs the parents and the students about the important reminders for the day's PCAs or parent-child activities, the important announcements, and where they all do the closing prayer and sing their goodbye song. After the virtual meeting, the parent and the child will be engaged in the PCAs or parent-child activities. These are parent-led activities that are provided in the Academic Weekly Planner Guide for Parents, which may be found in the LMS or Learning Management System. The activities to be done during PCAs may vary depending on the skills or target learning competencies that the child needs to develop. The said activities also aim to promote not only academic excellence among the learners, but other essential skills such as social-emotional and practical life skills, where the child learns to become responsible, independent, self-directed, and proud in working and showcasing his own accomplishments as well. Furthermore, working on the PCAs also offers a great opportunity for the family to bond, experience, and discover a lot of new exciting and meaningful learning outcomes. To strengthen the support of the school for the holistic development of the young Sagradan learners, the pre-elementary teachers and club moderators have started facilitating the different club activities during Friday. As we help our students achieve academic excellence, we also give a premium to the other aspects of their lives as individuals. During their It's Friday, or interactive and transformative sessions and clubs, students are given the opportunity to experience different fields of learning and be the best versions of themselves while indulging their hands, minds, 
and hearts in their learning interests. Being the young crafters of the Young at Craft Club, little chefs of the Kidsonomics Club, curious kiddos of the Curious About Science Club, and music makers of the Kidigly Club make them feel more confident and curious in discovering more of their own talents and capabilities. Moreover, the clubs aim to develop strong relationships among students across all levels, while sharing the same interests in performing their tasks and engaging themselves in meaningful and fun-filled activity sessions. Making them involved in different clubs will also enable them to explore, create, discover, and learn more about their environment while having fun. We are very much sure that your child will discover more about his own capabilities, potentials, and interests as he continuously engages himself in this non-academic school program. In our school, we always value the importance of keeping the communication line open for both the parents and the teachers. Since the parents play a vital role in the learning journey of their children, as their supportive and cooperative parent teachers, we always make sure that all of them are on board and well guided in all the activities, programs, and policies that are being implemented in the school. The ARD or Advisors Reporting Day is conducted every month where the child's advisor meets all the parents in her classes to discuss with them some important events or announcements. We are indeed proud and grateful to share with you that we had our successful Advisors Reporting Day during the first quarter. All the important activities, programs, and announcements were pulled off triumphantly because of the never-ending support and cooperation of all the Sagradan families. Hooray for that wonderful end of the first quarter! As part of the school's commitment to the community in producing citizens who are endowed with the Sagradan attributes, one of which is nationalism, the pre-elementary department celebrated the Buwana Wika through various activities that were conducted and facilitated both by the teachers and the parents during the pupils' virtual meetings and PCA. It is also the school's simple way of instilling the value of respect and showing love for our country and of promoting awareness about its cultures and traditions among our young Sagradan learners. The curiosity, excitement, and happiness radiated in the faces of our pupils and their parents while they were engaged in their chosen Larong Pinoy during their PCAs. In addition to this, all the pre-elementary pupils were given the chance to showcase their talents and skills in front of their classmates and teachers via their pre-recorded or documented videos. The junior Casa pupils were all cute and adorable while they were presenting their sayaw ng batang Pinoy to the tune of different traditional Filipino folk dance music while wearing their national costumes. The advanced Casa pupils were all confident and vibrant when their hearts and lips sang in the music of their awit ng batang Pinoy with their national costumes too. Of course, the kindergarten pupils would never fail to amaze and melt the hearts of their teachers and parents when they became the little Francisco Balagtas who were all confident and smart poets of their chosen or personally made tula ng batang Pinoy with their national costumes as well. The department concluded the Buwanong Wika celebration with more engaging activities such as the Pistang Pinoy, the virtual picnic, and some virtual games where both the pupils and the parents participated. The celebration was indeed a remarkable one. Montessori the Sagrada Familia acknowledges the importance of exposing its students to rich and meaningful literature that will enable them to develop the love and passion for reading, deepen their imagination, and improve their emotional intelligence. Staying true to this belief, the school has continued its partnership with Scholastic Philippines in providing its students access to a wide range of virtual library collections via Scholastic Learning Zone. In line with this, the pre-elementary pupils were already given their scholastic accounts with their default passwords 
and this has allowed them to have access to hundreds of engaging e-books and read aloud as well. We encourage you, our dear parents, to have your child maximize the use of their Scholastic Learning Zone resources. The kindergarten pupils presented their first quarter integrated PETA or performance test last September 22, 2021. This learning activity allows the pupils to apply the knowledge and demonstrate the skills that they have learned during the entire quarter period. With the help of their loving and very supportive parents and other family members, our little Sagradans came up with this well-thought PETA video vlog. Here are the highlights of the first quarter kindergarten performance test. The Junior CASA and the Advanced CASA pupils reminisced about their meaningful and fun-filled experiences during the entire quarter period in their culminating activity entitled End of the Quarter Memoir. This activity was done last September 21 to 22, 2021. During the presentation, the effort and the undying support of the JC and AC parents were also recognized. Here are the highlights of this activity. The kindergarten pupils will have the regular reading assessment every quarter. This assessment helps the teacher track the reading abilities of the pupils and to recognize who among them need enrichment activity to further develop the said skills. One of our ways of assessing pupils' learning happens during our learning checkpoint, which is usually done every Friday. The pupils are provided with different activities designed to determine if the pupils gain mastery of the knowledge and the skills that the competencies intended them to learn. One of the skills that are being developed during the learning checkpoint is the pupils' communication skills. The teacher asks different questions as the child presents his learning outputs. Employee wellness is essential in any organizational success. Employees are more likely to be on the job and performing well when they are in optimal health. The Montessori Desagrado Familia Management gives importance to this matter, believing that self-care activities such as physical activity, catching up with friends, and setting boundaries around work can support teachers to improve and maintain their personal well-being. We, the teachers here in the pre-elementary department, Enjoy the wellness activities provided by our wellness ambassadors, Teacher Carla and Teacher Jed. Here are the highlights of our wellness activities. Parental support and involvement are contributory to the academic success of students. As such, it is important for educational institutions to establish and maintain partnerships with parents and family members in order for both the school and the home to arrive at practices and decisions that will further benefit the growth and development of the center of the learning process, our students. The appointment of parent representatives per homeroom or section is the school's means of improving its information dissemination and soliciting participation and involvement among its parents. Last September 10, 2021, 
The first quarter meeting of parent representatives was held and it was initiated by the school administrators. As we want to promote a strong partnership with you, our dear parents, another communication platform was launched this school year where you can inform us of your school-related concerns. This is the Parent Concern Log. It is a Google Form sheet that you need to accomplish if ever you have concerns about your child's learning experiences. Part of our educational institution's desire to further improve the programs and services that we offer each school year, we conduct quarterly surveys. This data gathering tool will enable us to identify areas for improvement and modification. Because of this, we are asking for your full support and cooperation because your honest feedback will help us in gearing towards the realization of our school's mission, which is to provide your children with quality basic education. Speaking of quarterly survey, in fact, last September 17, 2021, we have deployed the first cycle survey for our Fly and Save programs and we are very proud to inform the community of the results. Again, our sincerest gratitude to our Sagradan families for being our partners in your children's education. A school progress report card serves as a communication link between teachers, students, and parents. This helps keep information consistent between all parties and opens the door for communication between teachers and students, students and parents, and teachers and parents to the benefit of the student's education. In the new learning modality where students are learning from home with their parents as their supporting guide and teachers too, their progress in terms of the different aspects of their development is more observable at home than in a school where the only link between teachers and students are their computers and gadgets. The Developmental Progress Checklist, which is part of the Progress Report Card, will be disseminated to parents for them to accomplish and to rate in which level of development their children are at the moment. The said checklist will be given to the parents once every semester and the inputs will be treated with the utmost respect, confidentiality, and understanding. For the first semester, the date of the distribution of the said checklist is on October 21, 2021, and the deadline for the submission of the fully accomplished checklist will be on October 28, 2021. In line with this, there will be a scheduled action plan reporting day and parent-teacher conference wherein the advisors will be discussing to the parents their suggested activities or plan of action based on the inputs which they have gathered in the students' developmental checklists accomplished by the parents. The schedule for the upcoming first semester action plan reporting day will be in December. As part of the school's mission to develop students who are servant leaders and global citizens, Montessori de Sagrada Familia is one in celebrating the United Nations Month this October. The school's aim is to promote awareness to the young Sagredans regarding the people, culture, foods, traditions, and many other facets of the different countries around the world. The pre-elementary department will hold some activities such as flag making, DIY hat making, languages and dishes around the world awareness, and International Virtual Food Fest. This November 19, 2021, the pre-elementary department will launch its second wave of club registration. The pupils are advised to choose and register to a club that is different from the club in which they were registered for the first wave since the clubs will be presenting the same set of activities that were offered and done during the first wave. The activities provided in each club will help the students foster their other skills and talents and will help them divert their energy and attention to more fruitful, meaningful, and fun-filled learning activities while they are at home, so everyone is highly encouraged to register and participate in the clubs. We, the pre-elementary teachers in Montessori de Sagrada Familia, believe in the uniqueness of each child and that each learner has his own face in learning and in acquiring the skills like the literacy and reading skills that our young learners develop during their formative years or in their preschool years. 
Our kindergarten pupils already took their reading assessment last September and this is being conducted regularly to gauge the reading capabilities of our young learners and for us to know who among our learners need reinforcement when it comes to these skills. Part of our commitment to achieving our core values of excellence and sense of family is offering enrichment classes to those whose reading readiness is just emerging. Some of our kindergarten pupils will soon attend this special class to help them develop their literacy skills and to promote further their innate love for reading. The shift from face-to-face -face classes to remote learning during the pandemic has demanded a great amount of training and education among private school teachers. In our past year's experience, given a very limited time for preparation, our teachers had to learn how to design and implement virtual learning experiences in order to continue with their educational services to the community. In the same way, the college students of today who are specializing in education must be further equipped and prepared as they undertake the entirely new teaching practices brought by the pandemic. I am pleased to inform you that Montessori de Sagrada Familia has established external partnerships with Bulacan State University, Bustos Campus, and Baliwag Polytechnic College in the deployment of their pre-service teachers in fulfillment of their teaching internship program. In this regard, the school has accommodated a number of students from the mentioned partner educational institutions. A part of the student's internship program is to attend the daily virtual meetings and observe the various online teaching strategies that are being implemented by our competent faculty members. Rest assured that the school's data privacy guidelines will be strictly followed by the students. With our Sagradan core values of sense of family, let us all welcome them to our community. It was in 1934 when the celebration of the National Book Week started in the Philippines through the proclamation issued by Governor General Frank Murphy. Back then, it was celebrated from June 18 to 24 of every year with the goal to awaken the reading interest of Filipinos and to promote the resources and services offered by public libraries to the community. Then, in 1936, the National Book Week celebration was moved to November 24 to 30 of every year through Proclamation Number 109 signed by the late President Manuel L. Quezon. Since then, the National Book Week has been observed and celebrated throughout the entire country with an overarching goal of promoting the love, joy, and appreciation for reading. The pre-elementary department of Montessori de Sagrada Familia takes part in the celebration of the 87th National Book Week with the theme, Outcomes, Outreach, Outstanding, Libraries Beyond Boundaries. We will celebrate the National Book Week this month long, especially at the kindergarten level where they read in two languages, in English and in Filipino, to encourage reading and literacy among our young Sagradans, promote public and online libraries, and arouse interest in reading good and worth to read books. We, the teachers in Montessori de Sagrada Familia, acknowledge the importance of exposing our pre-elementary students to rich and meaningful literature that will enable them to develop the love and passion for reading deepen their imagination, and improve their emotional and mental intelligence. At home, you too can celebrate with us and help us in creating a reading community by doing any of the following. First, create a cozy or comfortable reading area or corner for your child. Second, explore books through storytelling props and costumes. Third, Utilize books that inspire arts and crafts. Fourth, explore fairy tales, Filipino legends, and folklores. Fifth, read in front of your child or with him or her on your lap. 
and lastly, include reading in his or her everyday life. Towards the end of our first semester, we will hold again the performance task or PETA presentation of our kindergarten pupils and the end of the quarter memoir of our junior CASA and advanced CASA pupils. Also, we will hold our second parent-teacher conference and action plan reporting day where we will talk about the online performance and behavior of your child for the whole first semester of this school year. As the COVID-19 vaccination continues to be mobilized in our local government and neighboring municipalities, we are hopeful that the physical school will reopen once it is safe for our learners to attend in-person classes. In the meantime, let us make the most of our learning continuity program and continue with our partnership towards the academic learning of our dearest Segredans. Thank you for watching and may the Lord bless you all.